happening this is ronald guys all right so welcome to my channel um today in this video i'm going to walk you through how you can use uh, a go high level automated uh, receipts uh, uh functions uh in inside of our go, uh, go high level okay so um this is actually about invoices like for example uh previously go high level didn't have this future until now uh, this is a really awesome thing because um, I'm using Stripe, uh, Stripe as my payment gateway in my business. Uh, when somebody purchased uh, something from me, uh, Stripe account actually send them uh, the receipts, but it's not actual our company receipt, really. It's coming from Stripe. So some people, some some of my clients are asking me, hey, Ron, can you give me your company receipt so they can actually uh, use it for their tax, uh, for the tax thing on the end of the year, right? So uh, in order for me to do that, we had to create another different automations to create invoices, send them another, create another templates, uh, and then we have to put this into our system all the time. But now we don't need to. Now you can use one single uh, universal uh, receipt for, for in your business. And every time somebody purchase something from you through your Go High Level account, um, it's going to automatically send them the receipt and every single time somebody pays something for you, all right? So this is a really good feature that I'm going to walk you through together how you can do that. So before we get into it, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and give me thumbs up, guys. Okay, so uh, I'm going to share the screen. And let's get into our account. All right, guys. So uh, in this uh, video, as I said, it's all about the receipt, automated receipt. It's going to send it out every single time somebody purchased something from you inside of any product that you created in your account. So right now you are watching uh, Why Label Go High, uh, Go High Level, which is our uh, our brand is Go Funnel Box. Um, right here, when you uh, log into your account, the first place you have to go is your payments. Okay, go to payments and on the top, go to settings. And now you will see this one. Before there wasn't anything like settings, but now uh, Go High Level updated really awesome feature, which is automated receipt generator. Okay, all you need to do is it's a very simple thing. Just turn it on, guys. That's it. Turn it on. Title you can name anything you want, but this will be populated into your um, uh, default email later on. So uh, make sure uh, you, I mean, you can name anything you want. You can use a company name and receipt, anything like that. For me, I only use receipt because later on, uh, we're gonna create an email. Uh, I mean, we can use default template for the sending receipt email uh, containing the PDF file for their uh, purchase histories. But, you know, default is okay, but I like to uh, customize a little better. And so it looks more professional. So. Uh, for the title, you can name anything you want. Uh, this is for the, just the prefix. Uh, don't touch this. And the number has to be, well, it, it, it doesn't really matter. I don't really care about this number thing. I just keep it as it is. Uh, this number is to define the number to be used when creating the first receipt. The number will automatically increment with each receipt uh, created. Well, um, you can uh, you can put any number you want, but I just like to put it as it is, okay? So it doesn't really matter, guys. And then for the default email, um, you can actually create another uh, uh, email template for the, your receipts, or you can just use a default, all right? So later on, we're going to uh, change this into customized uh, receipt email, uh, and then we're going to replace this with later on. So for now, we're going to save it, okay? So next thing that we're going to do is we are going to go into the marketing. And we're gonna go into the templates, okay? Now we are here because we want to create our own customized uh, receipt email for our customers. And automatically it's gonna attach a PDF file for their purchase history at the same time. So all we need to do is just create a very simple uh, email for the receipt. Now here's the fun part. You don't need to create from scratch. I will show you something that not that many people know about, okay? So all we need to do is go to create new, for me, as you know, that I like to create a folder all the time. So I'm going to create a folder first, and I'm going to say receipt. Oops. Receipt, right? And then I'm going to create a folder, and then I'm going to go into the receipt folder, and I'm going to create new. Now, you can uh, you can start from blank template, but for me, I like to uh, start with email marketing template. When you click this, 
and you will see all this email uh, email template that you, you can actually uh, just use it out of the box. But there is something that not that many people know. On the left side, if you see here, you will see system templates. When you click this, Yes, you will see all the system template that actually the go high level is using in their business. Now we can take it out. Okay, we can use this. Okay, let's go over some few things here. Uh, this one is for the social planner post approval email. This one is for the Shopify abandoned checkout uh, 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 templates. Actually, they are, are using exact Shopify template, but we can uh, customize as we want. And this one is for the Shopify order confirmation receipt. Actually, this one is the, what we're going to use later on as a receipt email. And this one is for the membership welcome email. And there's a promotional email, update email, and simple email. So this is really cool, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose Shopify order confirmation um, a template. So I'm going to click select. And I'm going to click uh, continue. Now, uh, there's a little thing that Go High Level should update. Uh, when we uh trying to upload some kind of templates, it doesn't show right off. So we have to like, you know, like we have to go out and then it's out there. It's not inside your folder. So we have to go out and then you will see this one, system template order confirmation. Now, this is the one we are going to do. So what I'm going to do is since we create the receipt folder, I'm going to remove, move this to our uh, receipt folder right here. Receipt, I'm going to move. Now it's gone, right? It's already inside our folder right here. So all we need to do is just click it. And all we need to do is start customizing. So now, first thing I usually do is I uh, change this one and to receipt, right? Order confirmation. And then this play hold, placeholder, uh, you can actually utilize anything you want. Uh, this is for your company logo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that into, uh, I will show you how I, how, how, how I do things. So I'm going to go into my company's logo um, right here. And I'm going to go into our company logo right here. And then I'm going to put it right, see, right here. This is our company logo. Now, this is order number and order number. Now, um, I don't really like, don't like to change this too much because, um, you know, this is going to be actually the number that people are going to see, okay? It's their actual unique number. So uh, I don't, you don't need to really touch this. Now, this part, uh, we can customize it, okay? So what we're going to do is um, when you click this, uh, on, on the left side, we're gonna uh, customize it. So first thing is, I want to really give a little height. Uh, right now, it's 1.5. Yeah, let's give it a little uh, height. And then, uh, hello, order, uh, order customer, uh, uh, first name. Now, what we can do is you can replace this, not order, but a receipt. I will show you what that means. When you click this, and we're gonna go with the custom value, when you scroll down, you will see the receipt. This is a custom value that you can plug it in. So when you uh, choose the receipt, we're going to go into, um, let's see, where is receipt? Oh, yeah, date, uh, not date paid. Um, let's see, it has to be our customer. Sorry about that. We are going to go into the payment. Um, where is payment, current code, subtotal, discount. Um, oh, we're going to use a customer name, customer first name, right? Do you see this? Hello, receipt customer first name. That is how it's going to go. Here is a summary of your receipt order, order number. Don't touch this. Made on order, create on. Now, you don't need to, not order, create on. It's going to be the date they paid the money to you. So erase that. And we're going to go into cost, uh, customer value and we're going to go into receipts. And do you see it says date paid? Boom. Now, receipt date paid. Okay. This is what we're going to populate in here. Now, make sure to save it. And then next thing is you can actually uh, use this as it is or you can just uh, change it a little bit. But I will show you how I do things. Okay. I'm going to delete this part. Right. And then here, what I'm going to do is like number order has discount. Uh, order Now I'm going to actually, um, this is actually custom code, guys. Okay, this is custom code, but we can actually create something like this. Yeah, order summary, right? Now I'm going to drop the uh, 
text from here and I'm gonna just erase this part and I'm gonna go say order summary product name right and then we're gonna put custom value which is going to be receipt and it's gonna go into um, let's say title receipt title oh sorry about that it's not receipt title the product name has to be populated into right here so uh, let's say uh, company cost oops total amount subtotal uh date paid number customer company now you have to choose one the right one here so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the payment right here the orders okay the orders now we're going to go into let's see where is the name source yeah order source and we're going to go into um, product name and it's going to be um, like uh, say subtotal subtotal and then we're going to go into the custom value go to receipt and we're going to go into subtotal if you have a discount it's okay i, I always put this in there because sometimes i do give coupon code uh, to our clients so i want them to see it so i'm going to go here and you guys going to discount amount if there's zero it's going to show zero all right so discount and then i'm going to show total total amount oops oops total amount and I'm gonna go to custom value, go to receipt, and it's gonna, you're gonna choose total amount right here. Boom. Then um, it's pretty much done, All right? And then make sure you save it. Now, um, this here, you can drop any content here you want, but I'm gonna delete this part. Now, view your uh, order means uh, they are going to, when you click this, they're gonna download the PDF file and I mean the, the 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 actual sites where they can see entire uh, the transactions they made through your purchase. So this is another way you can actually giving people like, hey, uh, we are really professional, right? We are we are legit company. So uh, right here the, it says the link URL. This is the only thing you need to do. It's it's all about URL. Not I mean you can change it to mail, file, telephone, but you we usually choose URL. So because when they click the link, it's gonna take them to actual their uh, payment history URL, which they can see the whole entire thing. So uh, in order to uh, link URL, uh, you have to, uh, we have to go into receipt, okay? And we have to go into the URL right here. See, you see receipt URL, that's it. That's all you need to do. And then we're gonna save templates. And here is customer information now. Uh, if you are doing some physical uh, product, then yes, we have to send our product to our customer's uh, home address, right? But since you are, if you are doing digital product, we don't actually ask for people's building address. So we, what I do is I just delete this part, okay? I usually delete this part and all I'm doing is I'm gonna put the uh, text right here on the bottom. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just erase this part. And then what we're gonna do is we just gonna uh, just type it in the customer information. What it what it means is that their name and their email and their phone. Okay, always remember what is that information you are collecting from your customer. Okay, but this is the only thing I, I actually uh, collect from our from our customers. So I don't really put any home address, shipping address, anything like that. So for the name, go to custom value and go to contact. And then, I mean, you can go to receipt too, right? Because there's a customer right here and just choose the name. That is the full name. That's a receipt customer's name. And email, same thing, go to customer, go to receipt and go to customer and go to email. It's going to receive customer email and phone number, same thing. Go to receipt, go to customer and go to phone number. Boom, that's it. Very simple, right? Now, we just create a receipt order confirmation email template right here. This will be uh, sent it out to your customer automatically when they purchase something from you, okay? Anything, anything they purchase from you, it's going to show right all here. So it's done. I'm gonna click done. I'm gonna go back. 
And all you need to do is go back to your payments, okay? And then go to settings. Right here, we actually turned it on, enabled this entire automate, automated uh, uh, receipt sending payment uh, thing. Uh, all you need to do is choose the email template. I mean, as I said before, you can actually use default one if you want to. But for me, I like to create my own company's customized email. So now I'm going to choose receipt auto confirmation, which I just created, and just click save. Boom. Done. Now, this feature is really awesome because... You know, you don't need to waste another time creating uh, invoices, automations, and all that. It's going to send it out at universally any time people purchase anything from you in your business, okay? Now, another best part is that uh, with this the email template that we created, okay, with this receipt email, uh, email uh, template we created, you can also utilize it in your automation too if you want to, okay? So um, let's get back to our video so uh, i hope you saw it's very simple right that's right i love go high level because there's their software and their their thing is they are really creating the features inside of go high level it's really simple to use for any beginners okay it's not really hard to learn so um i hope you got a lot of value today and this is a really awesome cool future for anybody who are actually selling something in the online space okay it could be physical product it could be info product it could be our courses it doesn't matter but now we, we can send it out this automated email to our customer every single time they purchase something from you so it's pretty cool right so thank you so much for watching this video give me thumbs up um if you really want to check out you know the one that we showed you today which is our actual uh white labeled go high level um we are using go high level in our business and as in many different ways um i utilize good this go high level as my entire business platform at the same time i'm also reselling it as a reseller but as also i am utilizing it as SaaS business we call it software as a service okay uh, because i also I, I have three different business one of the business that i'm doing right now is i'm helping course creator and coaches to build their online courses so in order to build people people actually build their online courses they need a software where they can actually host their videos membership sites a community and so on which i'm going to talk about in my channel so uh, you guys can check our GoFundMe box if you are uh, if you want to use uh, this kind of all-in-one single platform in your business. Then you can check out our GoFundMe box. We have a 14-day free trial, and we have awesome stuff inside. We have a really cool community we'll, where we go out like weekly live coaching calls, and we support you all the way. So you guys can actually check it out on the below the video. And also, if you really want to build your own SaaS business, what I'm doing right now, utilizing our GoFundMe box, then you can also check our um, you know, our uh, affiliate link for go higher level and then once you sign up then we will help you to build a, your own SaaS business as what we are doing right now okay so thank you so much thank you so much for watching our video and i'll see you on the next one guys okay so uh, always make sure that uh utilizing this kind of software to send out the receipt is became really convenient okay so thank you guys and i'll see you next time guys bye bye